buo 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 watunguya zburdan is burdan of course ukisikia hivyo unajua hii ni duru za kuaminika kata sio www.tripop.tv mi hapa naitwa Alasuki Penda unaweza niita Mugenge au sio and before tuingie kwa duru za kuaminika eh, kwanza ni kusanya za mtaani eh njo njo hapa hivi unaona hii page ala c and ppp tv on facebook tuzidi kuongea niambia what's trending mitaani ni nini ina trend hapo what's uh, been trending over the weekend niambie but ni kuambie kitu moja some days we need love other days we need money but every day all the time we need god and some duru za kuaminika straight to duru twende kaze kwanza mitaani kama kawaida vile si upanya nimeona vitu mingi zimefanyika kwanza eh, tukiingia uh, nimeona huko uh, Rift Valley nimeona majanga and uh, there's a man who has been jailed for 40 years juu ya kudefile mtoi wake Nis manze Anis wa, um, I think nimeona ni tena ya old manze very sad manze about that and watu kama hao na watu wa tabia kama hizo ndo tunasema watoko mena waishie kabisa and uh, of course uh, ni wapi kwingine nimeona kulimwagwa lita 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 elfu mbili over the weekend the, the illicit brew ziliweza kumwagwa and of course imeleta discussion heavy sana pale kwa mitandao nimeona watu wengine wakisema eh, hiyo ilikuwa ni sherehe wengine wakisema eh, hiyo ilikuwa ni biashara but inaitwa illicit sababu ni kitu inaweza ku affect kiafya so hiyo wachana nayo Eh hey, wachana nayo we need you this uh, holiday tunahitaji kila mmoja asherehekee eh, birthday ya, ya Yesu yes so wachana usi wachana na illicit yes changa pesa yako kidogo fika bei ya huh? yes kunywa hata chai au sio but tukirudi hapa Nairobi pale archives yes wangapi hawajui archives tunajua archives yes ah uh, hata director amekuwekea picha hapa there's this guy alijikakamua akajua pale archives kuna kuanga na umati hakuwezi kosa watu pale archives akajua hapa leo ni ile siku akapeleka mtu wake out kama kawaida akangoja watu wakuja alafu akakusanya watu e, ungedhani ungedha ni crusade akakusanya watu njo njo ni njo ni njo ni e, kidogo akapiga goti mm akaamua hapa proposal akapiga goti akapropozia mpenzi wake ama alikuwa nadhani ni mpenzi wake huenda ikawa hii ni Kanairo huenda ikawa alikuwa ni, ni mpenzi wa mwingine uh, but anyway uh, the lady rejected the proposal hapo hapo imagine uko katikati ya umati i think ukiangalia hii video utaona ni watu more than that so yes wamekusanya pale and uh, jamaa me propose and then you decide to walk away wasichana wa Kanairo hamna huruma manze but tell me what you think about that proposal j do you think proposals inafaa kuwa ghafla yani eh, surprise hivi ama ni kitu watu wanafaa kuwa wame discuss ndio mkubaliane kama mko kwa page moja Unaweza dhani mimi ni wako kumbe mimi nina mwingine pahali wewe ni wangu tu hiyo dakika kadhaa niko na wewe What do you think about that story and of course if there's anything that is trending in your area code the pages ala si pale on Facebook just DM me and kesho tutaisoma hapa hapa na tukiachana na hayo tuingie sasa kwa celebrities wetu kuna a lot a lot a lot but wacha tuanze na Bahati Bahati has revealed that he has a song with Nicki Minaj and it's confirmed that the collabo is indeed in the works and 2023 at a drop collabo ya Bahati featuring Nicki Minaj nikisema hivyo kwanza tumpigie makofi tumpigie makofi sababu ikisikika um, these uh, hizi ni moves hizi ni lens ukimention uh, female top female rappers lazima Nicki Minaj atakuwa kwa list but tuiangalie hivi sasa ya yeah? confirmed collab with Nicki Minaj unajua mtu anajiuliza bahati ni Nicki Minaj yule tunajua eh, yule wa ukweli yule wa Lil Wayne yule eh kama unaongea kuhusu Diana B unajua it's a genuine question when <laughs> niambie but anyway we can only wait and see keep it duro za kuaminika manake iki drop tutaisoma hapa na tutakuonyesha na itachezwa hapa on Triple P TV but some good moves right there na, na tukiendelea talking about rappers now let's come back to Africa 
tuachane na Nicki Minaj and let's switch tuonge about male rappers in Africa. Nikikuuliza mtihani kidogo tu nikikuuliza hapo nitajie watu watatu. Three top male rappers Africa unaweza taja nani na nani na nani we niambie interact with me pale uh, baduri za kuaminika is that Calligraph Jones one of the top african rappers ameweza ku react to with kids saying that rap music is dead and boring watu wanatumia mitandao ya kijamii kuji express and insta stories imekuwa ndo kila mtu akiwa na jambo la kusema anaingianga pale ana post. Wizkid pia aliweza kujibu maswali kadha wa kadha and one of them ilikuwa ni kuhusu African rappers where he said that African rap is dead, uh, African rappers are broke na akataja just three rappers wenye alifikiria ni good enough na hawaja uh, hawajadidimia kiusani. But now Calligraph Jones being one of the best rappers of course lazima angeongea and if you ask me mimi nafikiria kuna kitu iko jikoni sababu the post Calligraph put up ilikuwa inaonyesha ni kama kuna kitu and akasema you think the rap is dead ha i'm gonna show you iko nitakuonyesha and akisema hivyo and we know he is good na ma freestyle anaangukanga once na wewe and tuchangamsha I think this is not the first time Calligraph anajibu msanii wa Naija kuna siku alipeleka ali jamaa take pale right about now najua Wizkid as much as you are good at what you do the OG atakupeleka take and we can only wait and of course give me your feedback on the, this story uniambie uh, what do you think of Wizkid saying that uh, African rap is dead unajua it's good to if you ask me ni vizuri ku respect craft ya mtu mwingine. So, if you think upande wako Afrobeat music inafanya vizuri, jua kuna hizo zingine. Kuna mpaka Mogibi. Na sema tu. Iko. Yes. Uh, but anyway, the site is www.tripp.tv and duru ni kibao sana pale. And talking about African rap, uh, Wakadinali releases their highly anticipated album uh, ndani ya Cockpit 3. Iko pale kimbia nayo the site is www.tripp.tv tuingie 255 tuingie Tanzania naona hapa Omi Dimples Mons X mzee uh, pole sana Omi Dimples yes Omi Dimples ako in morning and uh, alikuwa na mdate ama alikuwa na uhusiano um, i think some time back uh, na Maya Mia who is a makeup artist ama who was a makeup artist a socialite pale nchini Tanzania uh, and amekuwa uh, ni mtu uh, mzaliwa wa nchi nyingine but uh, she has stayed in Tanzania for a good 10 years akifanya biashara pale and inasemekana eti pia msichana huyu alikuwa na uhusiano wa kimapenzi na comedian Idris Sultan sijui kweli wa hayo mambo but uh, what i can confirm is that Maya Mia uh, is indeed um, resting and uh, we can only uh, pray that she rests in peace and uh, kitu ya kushangaza sana ni kuona msichana mrembo kama huyu inasemekana alijitoa uhai and uh, it's unfortunate maze na hizi cases zimekuwa zikiendelea zina affect young people na mtu anajiuliza ni nini haswa inaendelea kwa society that uh, young people wanaona tu wapotele kwa kujitoa uhai is it lack of employment ni maisha imekuwa ngumu ni uhusiano ama relationships zinakuwa na changamoto i don't know but you tell me what you think sababu tumeweza pia kuona watu kwa industry wakiwa depressed uh, hadi wanaelekea kujitoa uhai manze very sad uh, that we lost such a young soul manze and uh, maya mia keep resting in peace manze na tukiwa pale pale tanzania um eh kwa nini tanzania uh, leo ni sad news manze manze poleni uh, manake naona wema sepetu boyfriend confirms miscarriage okay for those who don't know ama kwa wale hawana rada acha niwapeleke na rada wema sepetu for the longest time now amekuwa sana na ombi la kupata mtoto ameingililiwa sana kwa mitandao ya kijamii amepashwa sana ameambiwa oh ni your past and remember sometime back kulikuwa na tetesi that wema sepetu aliweza kushiriki um, a lot of 
activities zenye zinaweza mzuia kupata mtoto but uh, she has been there she has been posting she has been praying for for a kid amekuwa pale hata kwa comments za celebrities wenzake waki celebrate watoto wao amekuwa pale anaonekana amechangamka anawa wish well and this was to be uh, probably one of her best year but uh, tena ikasemekana kumekuwa na miscarriage amenyamaza kimya but now the boyfriend who is rapper ni msanii pale nchini Tanzania anaitwa Wozu in an interview aliweza to confirm that yes indeed uh, wawili hawa walipoteza mtoto asubuhi katika siku zetu ambazo kwetu na ugomvi basi watu walikuwa nao wakanipa taarifa wakaniambia kwamba um mimbe me aribi amepata miss miss Kerej and all we can say is pole sana and uh, trust in the lord manake ni mungu wa second chances not even second third ni mungu wa other chances and uh, i'm sure he will come through for you and tukiachana na hayo uh, naomba tuingie tena nchini Kenya Kalasha Awards zilifanyika for those who don't know Kalasha Awards wacha niwaambie Kalasha Awards ndo Oscars ya hapa Kenya. It's a big deal. Any actor, any movie industry player anaweza kuambia that ukikuwa nominated for Kalasha Award, it's a big deal. Nomination pekee. And ilifanyika over the weekend and uh, we saw Abel Motua and his team take home a total of six awards. Hey, nilikuitisha makofi. Sasa hapa ndo unapiga makofi sababu nishakwambia, hii ni Oscars. Hata tusiniite Kalasha, tuseme Kenyan Oscars ya. Yeah? Kenyan Oscars na unabeba sita. Sita. And of course ni juu kazi ni fiti and uh, I got to interview Eddie Joe Mwaniki uh, one of the guys behind him movie ambayo Abel Mutua alikuwa nominated for inaitwa Christmas Love. It's an amazing amazing production manze na kwambia and kama hujaiona utahitaji kuiona sababu Abel Mutua is there, Grace Kirapa is there, RB Robert Burrell is there. Mula Moa ako pale kama soja. So in movie moja moto and if only vile tulitokea wote kuwatch Wakanda forever tunaweza tokea and support such movies, such Kenyan content inaweza kuwa tamu sana and uh, ni season ya Christmas and the movie itself is Christmas love so to somebody your Christmas love and big up uh, Eddie Joe Mwaneki big up Abel Motua and the team this is good job good job right there and kama hujaitazama ah tuingie pale tuitazame and of course support Kenyan content creators any day any time don't think about showing love to Kenyan content creators there's this Kenyan content creator showing love to a Nigeria content creator all good ni vizuri sana by the way ni vizuri sana i'm talking about Nikita Kering who is indeed confirming that she has a huge huge crush on Rema even Nikita lakini hey y'all come look at this badala ya kuvuka eh, mipaka uvuke huko kwote hapa nchini Kenya hautuoni hello hutuoni Atuonekani but anyway Nikita ame confirm a huge crush on Rema and uh, I think squeeze this TV buyer for madam ku kutupa shots zao what do you think niambie pale on Facebook is it wrong for a girl ama for a lady to shots on someone amonya na feel uh, they can make a lovely cup niambie it's christmas so eh uh, christmas watu hawafai kusherekea wakiwa solo and wakiwa lonely hii ndo ile siku tunasemanga ni siku ya mapenzi hii ni season ya mapenzi so eh uh, nikita uh, talk to rema uh, slide pale slide 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 you never know like i've said it's uh, the love season it's christmas season but uh, tukifunga hapa juduru kibao sana the site is www.tripop.tv again tunafunga tunafunga na uh, sad news naona hapa Benson Mons after losing his grand ma pole sana Benson mashosh wanakuanga watu wa muhimu sana kwa life zetu especially when you are 
who are brought up by their grandmas wanakuanga na some attachment and uh, all we can say uh, from team duru za kominika from team ppp tv may the lord god be your comfort at this moment and uh, to you and your family poleni sana yes and to the family of duru za kominika nataka tukafungia hapa but Uh, before ni end ni kujulisha that tunaweza zidi kuongea pale kwa mitandao ya kijamii on Facebook ALA hyphen C and of course PPP TV on Facebook uh, niambie what's trending kwa mtaa yako and kesho tunaweza ifunga mimi naitwa Alasio Kipenda niite mugenge na hii ilikuwa ni duru za kuaminika tumekafunga au sio